New data shows an increase in pedestrian fatalities in the DMV. DC News Now's Yamari Sisse is in Silver Spring with the latest data and how local leaders are trying to save lives. Veers Mill Road had their speed limit reduced to keep pedestrians safe due to speeding drivers. In April, a man was arrested for hitting and killing a 27 year old on the road directly behind me. And although Maryland and DC has seen an increase in pedestrian fatalities, a lot of residents say more needs to be done. Cars shooting up Veers Mill excess of 100 miles an hour sometimes. Residents like David Myers don't feel safe walking in their own neighborhoods. It's very frustrating. My, my son and daughter have to try to cross the street there. I've tried to cross the street myself and gotten stuck in the middle of the intersection or in the between the lanes for three to five minutes at a time because the cars are moving so fast. According to the Governor's Highway Safety Association, more than 7,300 pedestrians were killed in the U.S. last year, and that's a decrease compared to 2022. But here in the DMV, Maryland and D.C. saw an increase compared to other states. Maryland's pedestrian fatalities went from 137 in 2022 to 161 in 2023. That's an 18% increase. DC's went from 19 to 20, but has seen a steady increase since 2019. But Virginia actually saw a decrease from 171 to 133 pedestrian fatalities. Now officials are encouraging pedestrians and drivers to be safe by reducing car speeds and lanes pedestrians have to cross, better street lighting for drivers, leading pedestrian intervals, banning right turns on red lights and also increasing sidewalks. Meyer says nearby communities can be models for change. I drive out to Potomac all the time. All the residents out there, they have crosswalks, they have flashing lights, they have all the safe things because those are the affluent neighborhoods. But in the ordinary neighborhoods, they don't care. We're now reporting in Wheaton, Maryland. I'm Yamar Sase, DC News Now.